In this video, again, we're talking about the field properties of real numbers, and it's for all real numbers A, B, and C, where A equals 12, B equals 6, and C equals 5, for our examples here. But in this video, we're going to talk about the distributive property of multiplication with respect to addition, respect to addition. So if we're given with the distributive property, in one of the previous videos, we talked about this briefly, A times B plus C, so our order of operations say that B plus C has to happen first here. This is the same thing as if we distribute this multiplication to both parts of the B plus the C, A times B plus A times C. And the second part of this says that this parentheses to me can be on the other side of A, the multiplication of it, and B plus C times A is the same thing as B times A plus C times A. And of course, we talked about the um, the commutative property where B times A is the same thing as A times B, et cetera, okay? So these two are actually gonna be equal, and it really doesn't matter which side it's gonna be on, but we distribute that multiplication to both parts. So, if we have it like before, the um, with our values here, where A is uh, 12, B is six, and C is five, we have 12 times six plus five, that is the same thing as saying 12 times 6 plus 12 times 5. And also, same thing as saying 6 plus 5 for uh, this one here, b plus c times a, times a, which is 12, is equal to 6 times 12 plus 5 times 12. Okay? This is the, the basics of the distributive property of multiplication with respect to addition. Okay. Uh, thanks for wa watching this video. Hopefully it was informative and you learned about the distributive property.